All right, and we're back here at the Rug Community, and we just received a new kit. <clears throat> this one is from Robotis. This is the uh, Olo Inventor Education Robot Kit. So uh, let's check it out. This is going to be the first time we actually open it up. And it actually comes with these two things inside. Let's see what we got here. So one of these is the Inventor Expansion Set, and the other one is the Explorer Kit. So I'm assuming this is additional stuff here. So let's put this off to the side and start off with this one right here. So what do we got here? So oh, looks like we're going to have to open this up. Let's see if I can find a... Here we go. Alright. Alright, so we have some software here. Robo Plus is what it says on there. Looks like we have uh, a little ring here. This is probably for line following experiments. It's pretty handy. We have a nice book here. This is a really big book, actually. Oh, it looks like it has a complete. Uh, looks like it has a lot of different, a lot of experiments that you can do with this. This is actually pretty good. Very well illustrated. Easy to read. Really nice. This is uh, one of the nicest, uh, one of the nicest manuals we've seen for these kits. Pretty nice. All right. So right away, I notice we have this little canister here. It looks like there's a series of connectors, different types of connectors in here. They're probably for connecting all the different stuff that we have to connect. Uh, they're pretty small, so we probably want to keep them here. Let's go ahead and just empty them out for now. Okay, so definitely we can see we're going to be using that. They're pretty small pieces, as you can see. So again, that's just to connect, I guess, all the other parts together. And that just goes right on there. We have another bag of goodies here. A little bit larger kind of uh, middle pieces, things that you know you might mount a servo to, maybe some wheels, things like that. A couple little rubber bands, some sticks, similar to Legos, just a little bit different. Okay, we have uh, four wheels, or yeah, four tires per se. Those will be probably mounted, I'm assuming, on these circular like uh, connectors. I only see, yep, there's four in there. Or actually there's more in there than I thought. More than four. So. Alrighty. What else do we have? So this is a USB downloader. So this is probably something to download software onto the experiment kit. And what do we have here? This looks like... Okay, so we have two battery holders. We have something that looks like a servo. And this looks like might be some kind of controller. So this might be some kind of microcontroller in there. And then we have a series of these boards here. And a random stick. Not really sure what that's going to be used for, but we'll find out soon enough. So that's inside of the Explorer kit. Let me just put these away. Let's check out what's inside the expansion kit. So, I gotta say, just by using this and seeing this right now, this seems like a very nice, well thought out kit with plenty of things to do. On the back of the boxes, they show you a lot of things that you can and can't do. So, we have a whole bunch of pictures here, all of which we saw most of these in the manual, which is pretty nice. Now the expansion kit is probably just that, an expansion kit. Another inventor's guide. We have, again, the same type of things. You have some more servos. Looks like you have some more sensors. They look like touch sensors, IR sensors, light sensors. We'll find out all about that as we start on. As we move forward, we have some rope, some string of some type here. We have some more of those funky connectors that we had before. And we have some more of those little middleware components. Some more of those larger pieces to put things together. And something that's different that we didn't have before are these uh, 
black pieces here. It looks like these might be able to be put together to make some kind of a track or have something. Maybe a tank. I'm not really sure, but we'll find out. And we have here a little, looks like a wireless remote of some sort. Similar to uh, your typical PlayStation controller, but it's just a standard wireless remote control. Looks like it works with IR. Pretty nice, simple to use. And that's about it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to combine these things together. We have all these boxes here. And let's open up the other kit. Let's first see what the difference is in the manuals. And uh, let's see what we got. It looks like both the manuals are the same. Looks like it. I'm not saying they are, but it looks like it. So one is entitled Inventor and the other one's Explorer. So there's obviously something there that's different. So it's two of these books. Pretty big. Okay, so let's open this up. Dump out some more of these connectors here. There we go. It's really nice when they include a little care so you can work and these all go together. Just kind of dump them together. All I'm doing here is just kind of consolidating everything. All these pieces are made out of plastic. Um, you know, I don't see any problems with them. They look pretty simple. They look just like a, you know, maybe a derivative of the Lego, but looks a little more advanced actually. Like you can do a little bit more with it than with the Legos. Um, and it's specifically designed for this. So let's just put all those in here. I would definitely think that you could start off with one and move to the other. I'm not sure if they sell them differently, but we got them together in the inventor kit. Okay. We have two bags here. And a little, a little junk in here. And it looks like tank treads. Off to the side. And the wheels. go together. There you go. That's about it. That's inside the entire kit. So let's go ahead and just kind of open up each one of these things and inspect it. See what each thing has in store for us. So these are pretty clear what they are. I'm going to put them off to the side here. So are these. So are these. This is not clear but we'll find out soon enough. And it's clear to me what these little wheels are and this rope might be for. So let's go ahead and just start off with checking out this controller. So this looks like a standard little controller. It looks like it has an IR here of some sort. And then for red, you have what looks like a six buttons labeled one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you have an up, down, left, right. So as you can see, there it is. Not sure if you can see it there with the glare. It's all black, but there you go. So lightweight. Let's see what this, uh, let's open this up. Looks like it takes uh, two AA batteries right back in there. Again, this kit doesn't come with any batteries, but that's the start of this. So you only need two AA batteries. That's the remote control. Now let's put that off to the side. Now let's check out these guys here. So sure enough, we have the two battery holders with uh, their connectors. 
Nice thing about this kit, doesn't look like it requires any soldering whatsoever. And yep, sure enough, this looks like a microcontroller of some sort with built-in uh, infrared or something like that. That's what it looks like. It's got uh, infrared on the bottom, infrared on the front. It's got a connector here. And it looks like a reset button. Yeah, there's a power mode. So we got power mode connector here. Looks like power. This looks like it'll go for the batteries. So I take that back. Maybe that's not for the power. But this is definitely for the batteries. As you can see, these are the only ones that have this connector. They go there. Again, we haven't read any instructions, so we're just kind of going with it to see what happens. And uh, none of the pins here are actually labeled. I'm not sure if you can actually see those. But there's about, uh, let's see, five pins open on this side and two over here with one blocked off. So again, we have infrared, infrared, infrared. And what's this over here? Let's see, is even a... So this is actually a PC link is what it says there, a wireless PC link. Okay. These definitely look like some sort of a servo. These look like a custom servo. I can see the motor inside of there, its own custom housing with the wiring already sticking out ready for you to use. So you have two of those. And then with the expansion kit, you actually get a few more. We'll get into that in a second. And is that it? Yeah, that looks like it for there. So let's go ahead and get the expansion components open. Check those out. All right, so sure enough, we have a few more servers here. This time the wires aren't connected. They have their own cable over here. So we have two of them here with their own little wheel assigned to each one. We have some IR sensors. And uh, let's see, hold on, let's see what we got here. So it looks like we have two IR sensors. And we have two sensors, and I'm not quite sure what they are. Uh, let's see. Did they say anything on these? Robotis. I don't see anything on here. But it looks like this comes up somehow. Oh wow, okay. So these are touch sensors. There's actually a little switch in there, toggles. So you have two of those, two additional servos, two additional IRs, and then you have another IR of some sort, or maybe an LED. I'm not quite sure what that might be. Let's we'll find out sure enough. And what's this here? I'm not quite sure. It just looks like a sensor with an X on the front. So we're going to have to find out what each one of these are as we go through all this. So those are the main components there. Everything's pretty small and it's very modular. So that's a plus on Robotics' side. Very well thought out kit. I've got to say that much. What we'll do is, is that after this video, this is kind of just kind of introducing everything that we're going through. What's inside the kit, what to expect. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start building something. Okay, so here we have some kind of a USB uh, device. It looks like we might download something onto this. And sure enough, this has a cable that connects to this USB device, and it's going to probably connect to here. So probably something that we would do to interface our PC with this to download software to using the, what I'm assuming is the RoboPlus software. And it comes with a nice little manual right here, the USB downloader. And sure enough, it says here, the USB downloader is a device to connect the main controller and the PC. So our assumptions were correct. And it shows you everything you need to know on how to connect to it. All with a lot of, uh, in two different languages, and all with a lot of illustrations. It's really nice. And let's just go backtrack to the robot uh, remote control. And sure enough, let's see, it yep, shows you. So it looks like it's using Zigbee, or there's a pluggable Zigbee, I'm not sure, but I'm seeing some Zigbee things here. Infrared, not bad, very interesting. Again, all visually easy to read and see and whatnot. So that concludes this portion. Um, the next step is this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build an actual 
uh, project according to the manual. Install the software Robo Plus and we'll check it out. Check back soon for more of these uh, videos on the Robotis Olo Inventor Kit.